guys, my name is Darcina. It's good to see all of you here. Um, I hope by now you guys all subscribed and you guys liked our videos and you are all tuned in so you know when we do post something new you're alerted. Um, so just before I jump into all the technicalities and the law, I want to get you guys to understand really what wills and estates are all about. So let's start off by things that we've noticed as a firm. Um, when clients do reach out to us, a lot of I've noticed like a lot of our clients don't have the basic understanding of what a will really is. You know, they reach out to us like, oh, I bought an investment property, I want to get um, it. You know, I want to get a will for it, but they don't understand that it's not per property, but it's actually per person. So like when you're writing your will, you want to put all your assets in there, but you know your jewelry and your houses, your investment properties and all the money, what you want your, you know, your loved ones and your family to do upon your death. So that's one thing. But like, you know, growing up, we always thought, you know, only old people need to write a will like, oh, I'm only 25, I'm 30. Why am I going to write this? It's not important. But we know, especially in the last two years, we've noticed that anything can happen and nothing is guaranteed. And you know, why not protect your loved ones when you're not there? Spend a couple of hundred bucks now writing your will and getting your power of attorneys intact. So in the event that something does happen to you, that your loved ones are protected, your assets are protected, you know, you're not going to have your family and friends fighting over things that you already know that you want to put down, like who it's going to go to and stuff. Now, what is a will? A will is a legal document that sets out where you want your money and your property to go to after you die. So you're basically going to put down, you know, what you want your funeral arrangements to be, who you want specific, uh, you know, your gold or specific things to go to and what you want to be done with your assets and your properties and anything that belongs to you. Um, what usually goes in a will, like, you know, we start off by with the will, like you need to appoint an estate trustee. So some, it, this can be somebody that's an immediate family member, a friend, or it could be a random stranger, it could even be your lawyer. You know, you just appoint somebody who will look through your will and fulfill your wishes. So, you know, your SJ trustee will be in charge of paying your taxes, they'll be in charge of, you know, reaching out to everybody that you've named in your will to get something, they'll reach out to those people and they'll be like, you know, so-and-so has left this to you and so-and-so wants you to get this. So that will be the job of the estate trustee. So they will act as you in the beneficial interest of you after you die. So who can make a will? In Ontario, you have to be at least 18 years old to make a will and you need to be under, like you need, you need to be in, you need to understand what a will is. You have to be mentally capable of making the will. So what that means is like you understand what a will is, you understand your assets, you understand what you're writing down, you know who you're giving it to, and you know you have to be in a way that where the will won't be tested or like somebody in the future won't take it to court saying, you know, this person was mental was not mentally capable of writing this will on this date and time. You know, so basically you want to put it down that in the event that you do die, you don't want it to be taken to court saying, you know, this will is not valid. So what usually goes in a will? So as I said, you got to name your estate trustee and you got to put in your assets. But in the case that children are involved and they are minors, you need to also put in who you want the guardians to be. And what, like, if they're not um, 18 years or older, they're not going to get the assets that you leave for them. So it's going to be held in trust by the estate trustee before it can be given to them when they become adults. So, you know, you also got to put down who, like somebody who's trusted by you or your family that you know, put down somebody that you would want your children be t children to be taken care of until they become of age. I really do hope that you enjoyed watching our little segment today. Our only hope is that, you know, we want to give basic information and real life examples to people out there so they know what a little bit about a will and before they reach out to law firms they have a little bit of knowledge what need they need to have before they can draft their own will. I do hope that you guys continue watching our YouTube channel because we do have a lot more to offer so make sure don't forget to subscribe, like and please do leave comments if there's something specific that you want us to talk about. We do read it and we'll greatly appreciate it. Thank you.